Let's talk transport issues now in Sundasiwe Chukunga. The minister is uh, reopening a major railway line. It's part of plans to get uh, the rail railway network back on track. Yes, I you knew I was going to say track, didn't you? It follows years of vandalism, theft, mismanagement and corruption at Prasa, but it seems to be moving in the right direction. Heidi Jokos, uh, somewhere near Germiston, you're on a moving train. Hello to you, Heidi, and I'm not going to use the word on track again, I promise, in this interview. Where are you? How's it looking? <laughs> You should use on track again because I think this is a significant move, Gareth. The fact that um, you have Prasa really trying to turn itself around in terms of getting all its rail networks up and running again, given uh, the vandalism, theft, and corruption that we have been seeing at the rail network. But we are joined by uh, the transport minister. Thank you so much for your time, minister. We do appreciate it. If it gets a bit wobbly, I might just hold on to you. But um, maybe just speak to us about the significance of uh, the fact that this rail network is up and running again. Uh, you have millions of South Africans really dependent of, on public transport and Prasa has not been uh, the greatest in terms of providing that service because of all the issues. Now Prasa is actually becoming that entity that delivers on behalf of government of South Africa. We're very happy that we're launching this uh, corridor. Um, we have gathered from the passengers here, one is that it is efficient, that it is safe, that it is warm, you feel it yourself, it's clean, um, that it, 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 it actually makes them to save a lot of money. The lady I was just speaking to, she says she was actually paying something like 1,900 per month. She's paying 300 rand now, which is a real saving because it will be painful for our people, young, for, for that matter, young people, having to work just for transport and nothing else. And we are saying to them, they, 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 they committed to ensuring that these trains remain in the state in which they are right now. It is our commitment as well. We are embarking on yet another project that of ensuring that they signaling so that more trains can be run. There are stations that were still renovating. Isando, they've been asking about it. It is being renovated so that as, as soon as possible it will also be operational. So there's a lot of work that is happening and Prasa is behind that. This is a Stimela Sabant. That's, 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 that's what we're saying about these trains there is Stimela Sabant. And, and the, the Prasa of yesterday is definitely not the Prasa of today. And it's definitely not the Prasa of tomorrow. The Prasa of tomorrow is a better Prasa. So the Prasa today, with the Prasa for tomorrow will be better than the Prasa for today. And that is what our commitment is all about. We're happy that the people now are able to save money so that it's not just about them working for transportation. And it really makes a difference. If you have 20 rand and you pay a return trip out of 20 rand and still get some change, you pay 14 rand something, you pay 15 rand something, you still remain with some change from 20 rand. That for me is important. One young man is saying to us that if you have to go for an interview, you are able to, to, to travel uh, because it's cheaper. So this is one mode of transport that is accessible, that is affordable, that is safe that is secure, that's what the people here are telling us. They are actually requesting us to add Wi-Fi because they can now use their cell phones. They are actually saying it's possible for them to take out their cell phones and, 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 and expose them because it's secure. And for us, this is the feedback that makes us very happy. Okay. And, and, and we hip about that. Yeah. So you're speaking about the service that's now being provided and the turnaround around Prasa, but it doesn't come with previous issues such as vandalism, theft, and uh, corruption at Prasa. Oh, sorry, I might have to just hold on to you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so just tell us how you're dealing with those issues because it's not isolated. It's not just getting uh, the train up and running again. It's also about dealing with the back door issues such as corruption, vandalism and theft that's uh, really plagued uh, Prasa over the years. Maybe let me talk about vandalism and theft. We, we have upped the game when it comes to security. Um, already we are in sourcing about 3,000 and 7,000 7, outsourcing them. Uh, and, and, and so that these, are, 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 these trains are safer. We are walling our corridors. Uh, it's, 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 it's expensive. I always say this thing that the commandant of, of Prasa is to actually provide passenger trains. 
the issues of security are not supposed to be the commandate of Prasa, but we've got to do it so that our passengers are secured, but also they are safe. So that is what we are doing. So we are ensuring that these things are, are, are happening. We're looking at quite a number of other options, the drones as well. And, and the actual operation of trains, operating trains, it also by itself provide services to passengers, but also somehow it plays some role in reducing a, a criminality because people will not come and vandalize our, our, our infrastructure when the trains are running. So it has also some, some positive impact in as far as security is concerned. But there's a lot that we're doing around that. It goes with a lot of budget and money, which we not supposed to be as a matter of fact. And I say to the people of South Africa, it cannot be that we are known for vandalizing things. We are known for sabotaging the infrastructure, our own infrastructure, because this belongs to the people that use these trains. I'm here today, but definitely I will not be using this train tomorrow. But the people that use this train are supposed to actually own it, and that is why we think it's Timela Sabandu, it's Timela Sabo, so that they own these trains. And whenever they hear somebody thinking about anything to vandalize the infrastructure, they know that it means the following day they will not be trained. So it means they will have to pay more for transportation. The issues related to, to corruption, there's a lot that we have done by ensuring that we appoint one the board so that it deals with those issues. We have the group CEO appointed now so that issues of administration are taken care of properly. And, and the, the, the positions that are vacant, we've actually said to the board, ensure that those strategic positions are filled within time so that you have got people that can be held accountable for any wrongdoing. And if there is any wrongdoing, then of course there must be consequences for that. So there's, there's a lot that is happening. But just one thing I want to say here, that the presser of yesterday is not the presser of today and definitely not the presser of tomorrow. We are here, it is happening. We are in the train, it's running. And, and, and they, they are running every day and we have got students who are boarding these trains because they are there. And people are saying they are on time and therefore they don't have the, the problems of arriving later to work. And that is what we want to see and that's the feedback we are happy about. Somebody was actually saying oh, the other, on, the, on another day the, the trains were much earlier. And, and we don't want them to be earlier. We don't want them to be late. We want them to be on time. You know, but that's the efficiency that we're talking about, and we're happy about that for now. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much for your time, uh, Minister. We do appreciate it. That is uh, the Minister of Transport. I'm wondering exactly where we are. I'm not sure if anybody could give us a... We're heading to Germiston. Okay. Uh, so I know I was asked to give an exact location of where we are, but we are on a moving train, so it's very difficult <laughs> to give an exact location, but we are heading to or entering into Germiston. And uh, I think it's significant what the Minister has highlighted, the fact that you have many commuters and many South Africans really have, uh, who had been str struggling in the past uh, in terms of uh, really trying to get from point A to B. Um, and now you have a cheaper and a safer option with uh, Prasa trains um, really operating um, now and more um, corridors opening up that were previously closed because of whatever reason it might have been vandalism, theft, or just the corridors not being able to operate. So it's, it is some good news, but obviously time will tell uh, around its sustainability and yeah. um, uh, how all of this will actually work. Yeah, it's, it's one thing to reopen the lines time and time again. I suppose you're quite right, Heidi. At some point, you've got to find out how you're going to stop the vandalism and the infrastructure uh, being destroyed and damaged, etc. But the train is moving for the moment. We'll leave you as you find your way into Germiston. Heidi Jokos for us, along with the Transport Minister on one of the Prasa trains. It looks good. It looks new. Of course it does. It's just been relaunched, doesn't it? Time will tell. Uh, that's always the old adage, and I'm afraid it seems to be true when it comes to our railway network in South Africa. Hopefully, hopefully this time uh, it does stay. I'm going to use it again on track. I couldn't help myself.